Upgrading the memory on your notebook or Ultrabook PC is a quick and easy way to speed up nearly everything that you do on your computer. Here's how it's done. But before you begin, there are a couple things that you need to keep in mind. Make sure that the memory that you buy is compatible with your system. Kingston.com has a handy online tool to help you easily find which memory is compatible with your computer. Secondly, static electricity can damage the components in your computer when you're upgrading your PC, so it's best to wear an anti-static wrist strap to dissipate the static electricity. But without one, it's best to use a bare table without any plastic items, wastebaskets, telephones, or other static-inducing items on it. And lastly, in most cases, a simple Phillips head screwdriver is all that you need to upgrade the memory on your notebook PC. Before removing the old memory, first shut down your computer. Once it's completely off, remove the battery. And just to be sure that all the remaining power is drained from the computer, flip it over and press the power button after the battery has been removed. The memory is generally easily accessible behind a hatch on the underside of your notebook PC. Otherwise, you'll need to consult your computer manufacturer's website before you begin. Once you find it, remove the small screw or screws from the memory bay door and set it aside. But be sure the screws are in a safe place so they don't get lost. Now you should have a clear view of the old memory in your computer. Carefully push the metal clips on both sides of the memory outwards to release it. You'll notice it pop up slightly, making it easy to slide out from the memory slot. If you're installing two memory modules, do the same with the second memory, which can sometimes be next to or even beneath the first memory module. When installing the new memory, it's important to notice the alignment notch on the memory that lines up with the notch on the memory slot in your computer. If it doesn't line up, flip it over and slide the memory in at an angle, but don't force it in. Press down on the outside edges until you hear the clips on the side snap into place, letting you know that the memory is secure. If you're adding more than one, repeat this process for the other memory and then replace the memory bay door. Screw it into place, replace the battery, and then turn on your computer. Now on some systems, your computer may alert you that the amount of memory has changed. Don't worry, just follow the on-screen instructions to enter the BIOS and accept the changes. And that's it. If you have any other questions or need additional help installing memory on your computer, be sure to visit www.kingston.com forward slash support for more information. Thanks for watching.